Hi again, everybody, and welcome to the 2024 Hartman's Soccer Media Day. I'm your host, Nick Vassos, play-by-play -play voice of the Kansas City Comets and anchor at Fox 4 in Kansas City. We are excited to be joined by the Baker University Wildcats. We have head coach Nick Aguilar, and we also have defender uh, Falco Dykhaus. Welcome to both of you guys. How are you today? Well, I'm doing great. Thank you for having us, obviously. Yeah, Nick. Yeah. Doing good. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, well, we, you just had your first practice, Coach. Uh, how are things up in Baldwin? The weather's been great. Uh, what was uh, – how's training been like? It's been good. I mean, other than the first day uh, with, the, with the heat, you know, we haven't had any issues with practice delays or anything like that. So, uh, conditions have been really favorable. And, yeah, guys are moving and working hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. So, we had a little bit of time to chat before uh, we started here. And uh, I know that you played for uh, Nate Hauser, uh, of course. And uh, how's your training compared to Nate's when you played for him? Well, I'd like to think we're we're working – as hard as, as he made us work and uh, maybe in a different way, you know, uh, we, we joked about it. We, we have the balls out this week for the guys. <laughs> so, you know, I think uh, in, in the past it was a little bit different, but I think uh, hopefully the outcomes and the organization and the commitment from the guys, you know, we get to the same places, you know, Nate had us, had, had us get to. So. Awesome. Hey, Coach, uh, can you introduce Falco uh, and tell us what he brings to the Baker Wildcats men's program? First of all, Falco, as a, as a person, is, is, is huge for us. I think the way he carries himself, his influence with the guys, um, you know, how he, how he talks to other guys. You know, he, sh he shows a genuine interest in, in helping, helping others, um, but also sets a tone with work rate and and discipline and really just walking walking the walk uh, every day um, and then on the on the footballing side he's someone that's been an all conference defender um, two years in a row and someone that really just serves the team you know last year he played mostly out of position uh, he, he's more of an attacking uh, attacking minded defender or midfielder and he played center back for a number of games and just would do whatever you know, to help the team. So yeah, he's, he's been a fantastic leader for us. Falco, I wonder if you could share with us a little bit about your soccer journey and, and then eventually how you ended up here at Baker university. So first of all, thank you for the kind words, obviously, but um, I started when I was six years old back home in the Netherlands and I've just been playing ever since. And uh, I've always played as a midfielder, and when I went to like a bigger club back home, I played as right back, and I, it kind of fit my personality. I think I'm very, I've, I can run long distances, and I can just like have a, a lot of stamina to keep going. And with the modern day soccer with outside or wing backs, you, you need those players. So it just suited me, and then uh, it was COVID, I think. I was kind of done uh, playing back home and I wanted to do something else. And I got this great uh, great opportunity here at Bake University to come and uh, play and study at the same time. So I didn't think twice about it and just came here. And ever, I've never looked back with any regret or anything. Coach talked about some of the awards that you've won. I wonder what does it mean to you to have won the third conference uh, team All-American selection? Well, it's a great honor, obviously. It, it shows like the hard work that you put in also gets rewarded. But I also feel like um, third, it, it's amazing to receive such an award. But I think it's always uh, something that shows also how the team does it. It's not just an individual award. And maybe I get the points for goals or assists, but it's obviously how the team works. And it shows the more like people that get awards, it shows also like how great the team has been doing. And I just hope more people get awards this year. And I think with the play group that we're having right now, I think uh, I won't be the only one, or maybe I won't even be the one that will be on the sheet, maybe other players. So I'm I'm very excited for this upcoming year, and I hope more people receive reward, uh, awards. Coach Aguilar, uh, who else defensively on the Wildcats side is going to help Falco on the defensive end of the field? Yeah, hopefully a number of players, I think with the players we have returning that maybe didn't play as much as we wanted due to injuries and some of the newcomers, uh, freshmen and transfers, 
You have uh, a Dominic Faldesi, who his freshman year was a all conference defender, um, who's who's back. He's fit. He's looking sharp. You have a, a Ewan Roberts, um, somebody who maybe has gone a little bit under the radar, but if you watch us play, I think anybody who who watches us can see the quality that he has. Um, and then we have a couple of newcomers. We have a, a transfer and and Pascal Bros um, from Allen County, who's looked pretty sharp so far, and a freshman uh, Toby Suter. Um, from Switzerland, who's who's been impressive and looks like he can play in a variety of positions in midfield or or in the back line. Falco, as we talked about earlier, you're from the Netherlands, and I'm just kind of curious about what your experience has been like. You're coming over to the states, uh, playing at Baker University, playing, uh, you know, living on the campus there in in Baldwin City, and what overall the experience has been like for you. So it was actually quite a change from when I uh, lived back home. Uh, I lived on my own for a year and then I uh, came here to Baker, but living on a campus, you kind of like you're you're stuck with the guys and most of the times they're your teammates. So you get like really close bonds with them and you see each other every day. So like it kind of feels like a family. What is very important, especially as an international student, like you don't have your family close to you. So you get a really close bond. And I think it also helps on the field. And yeah, soccer wise, playing wise, it's it's different. It's way more intense, like. Back home is more about tactic, and here's obviously also about tactic. But here's like you need to go, you need to go, go, go. So your stamina and just like your conditioning is very important, and that's something uh, I want to just say for people that come in or are not used to it. Like it's it's a huge change, but I to be fair, it fits my my place so way better. So I, I'm I, I like it a lot. Well, Coach, uh, we'll end on this here. What are your goals here through the the preseason to get you ready for the non-conference? Uh, we know the heart is a super tough conference, and you're going to be challenged once the uh, regular season gets going here. But what are your like immediate goals here for this side as you get ready to uh, break camp and start the, the the season? Yeah, hopefully to improve on our, our style of play and just kind of our identity and – you know, getting some of the new, the new players um, acclimated to how we're trying to, to how we attack, how we defend. Uh, you know, we're going to get tested pretty early with non-conference play. We're going to uh, Kentucky to play Union and University of Cumberland's two teams that, you know, we're national tournament type teams um, and, and kind of, you know, our, our opponents that are going to replicate some of the, the challenges that we're going to see within our, within our conference play. So, um, and, and is that intentional? Is it is that something you like to get tested early to see what your see what your side has? Yeah, I think we'll find out right away kind of if if our our style and how we want to play can can actually uh, find a way to to produce results and you know kind of what we're made of and and the character of the group playing away and it's going to be tough environments and in terms of the the, the quality of the opponent. Um, you know, the, the level of physicality that we're going to see, probably the weather, and then having to turn around and play two games within um, basically a 72-hour period. So Ooh. we're going we're gonna to find out who we are and what we're made of pretty soon. Well, we know you guys are going to be working hard in preseason to get ready, and uh, we appreciate your time and certainly wish you guys the best of luck. Head coach Nick Aguilar and defender – uh, Falco Dykhaus from Baker University men's soccer team. Guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it again. Best of luck this year. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Nick.